Arizona State, an NFC East matchup between the Phoenix Cardinals and the Washington Redskins. The Cardinals' home opener, a crowd of 50,000 is gathering. Three weeks ago, the teams met in Washington. The Skins won 31-0. Joe Bugle on your left, eight years an assistant under Joe Gibbs in his first year as head coach. And we're ready to go. By Sekahima, Terrence Flagler are the deep men for the Cardinals, as you see. And Chip Lowmiller will kick it off for the Redskins. Number 13, Terrence Temperature can't be any more than 80 degrees, and that's a big surprise in this place. Yeah, and the Washington Redskins, believe me, are delighted with the weather. They were concerned about coming in here and playing and it being 90, 100 degrees as it has been a couple, the last couple of weeks. So they're thrilled with the weather. Low Miller is ready. And Sunday night football on TNT is underway. And a good, strong kick. Sekahima fields it deep in the end zone. He will not bring it up. And the Cardinals will start first and 10 on the 20-yard line. You see Joe Bugle and his young quarterback, Tim Rosenbaugh. In his second year out of Washington State, and yes, he had those four interceptions in the first game September 9th, but three of them were tip balls. We talked to Rosenbaugh yesterday, and he, and he is very anxious to get this game underway because, hey, he said, I really feel like I can play a lot better than I played on September 9th, and I want to show people that tonight. Roy Green wide to the right, J.T. Smith to the left, Ricky Prohl, a rookie, is in the slot. Johnny Johnson, the running back, gets the ball and breaks a tackle and gets out to the 28-yard line. A good start. Cook on the stop. Marcus Cook. And Skip, Johnny Johnson is a story. A seventh-round draft pick. He's a rookie out of San Jose State, second-leading rusher in the NFC coming into tonight's ball game, and really has surprised everyone in the NFL, including the coaches. Remember, they passed on him five times before they drafted him in the seventh round, but he has been sensational both as a runner and as a receiver. Two tight ends in the game on second and a long one. J.T. Smith is in motion for the Cardinal. Pitch, Johnson. He's close to the first down, but I don't think he got there. Charles Mann in on the stop. He's one of the best in the business. Well, you know, uh, Charles Mann is the kind of guy who can embarrass you. And, and Joe Bugle knows that, again, having been on the staff for a long time. And they said, we've got to be able to handle Charles Mann one way or another. They have a 325-pound tackle, Tootie Robbins, playing over him. You also see some tight end on him and some backs as well. Anthony Thompson checks into the backfield. Bugle told us he's a great leaper for the first down. Let's see if that's what they do. Third and less than a yard. Quarterback sneak. First down. Rosenbaugh out of Washington State gets the first down. So the Cardinals off to a good start in their home opener. You, know, you look at Tim Rosenbaugh and you assume everybody who, who plays or even makes an NFL roster has the talent to play in this league. So you, you go on that assumption first of all. So what separates quarterbacks? I think it's intangibles. Can you bring your team from behind? Can you handle the pressure, the boos of the crowd? Tim Rosenbaugh needs to answer that this year. Green, the lone setback behind Rosenbaugh from the 31. Flags all over the place. Yeah, there is some real bad blood between, between these two squads. Again, one of the subplots of tonight's game. In the first game, there were some cheap shots allegedly made by the uh, Redskins. At least the Cardinal players have said that. And they have taken some names and numbers, as they've said. You can see the penalty is against Phoenix. Dick Hantak, our referee tonight, with the announcement. So it's first and 15 at the 26-yard line. Lance Smith moved too soon. Green wide to the left. Pro wide to the right. Again, Johnny Johnson, the lone setback. Play action. Rosenbach is going to run it. To the 28-yard line, no more than that. He was run out by Greg Minuski, the middle linebacker. 
And Rosenball, when he has made plays this year, it has been really kind of the impromptu plays. I mean, he's not one of those guys who's going to stay back in the pocket and be patient like uh, a lot of quarterbacks. But he's made some plays this way. And again, Joe Bugle is kind of encouraging him. This is a young quarterback learning a team that they hope is emerging. And Tim Rosenball is just going to have to find his way. Second and 12. Roy Green again wide left. J.T. Smith in motion right. Johnson from San Jose State. 30. Fumbled the ball. Recovered by the Cardinals back at the 28 yard line. Roy Green came out of there with it. And you know who made the tackle? It was Daryl Green. The defensive back number 28 you think about Daryl Green being such a great cover guy but what you like about Green he's not afraid to come up and support here and not only does he make the tackle he gets the hand around didn't get it on the face mask but really caused the fumble as well and and that's what this Redskin team has done the last couple of weeks is create some turnovers particularly last week and this is the kind of shape the Redskins want to get you in third and long third and 12. Rosenbach with a blitz through its short. It was intended for Green. Monty Coleman applied the pressure. Boy, did Monty Coleman apply the pressure. Number 51 will come right from the outside of the defense. Here's a guy who's, I still think, the best nickel linebacker in the NFL, even in his 12th season, because he puts pressure on the quarterback. He can shut down a tight end or a back in nickel situations. Walter Stanley is the deep man. Rich Camarillo, one of the best, will punt it away. He gets a nice kick out of there. Stanley at the 20-yard line. 30. Not back to the 25. They'll give him the 29-yard line, and that's where Washington will go to work. Dennis Smith made the stop. 51-yard kick. A nine-yard return. So the Redskins have the ball for the first time. A truck you can live with, a truck you can work with, a truck you can play with, a truck you can stay with. GMC Truck! Beneath this hot new styling, the 1991 Sonoma is and always will be GMC Truck quality. For that, it's earned an exciting new name. Sonoma! Find out what it means for the 90s. GMC Truck! It's not just a truck anymore. Get special incentives on GMC Truck's new 1991 Sonoma. They'll never stop until you and your family are dead. If you're aiming to kill Steven Seagal... I don't know if that'd be a very wise career move. You only get one chance. Unbelievable. Then... It's his turn. One thought he was invincible. The other thought he could fly. They were both wrong. Steven Seagal is marked for death. Is that right? Rated R. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. The NFL on TNT is being brought to you by GMC Truck. It's not just a truck anymore. And by AT&T, the right choice. You see the time remaining from the 29-yard line. The Redskins will go to work. Stan Humphrey's a pretty cool customer, but they've got to be some butterflies jumping around, aren't they? Well, they really are. We talked to him yesterday, and he said, hey, I, I asked him, what would you like the game, how would you like it to start? And he said, well, really, if I had my druthers, I'd like to run a, a quarterback draw or something and get hit. He says, I really want to get hit and get the jitters out. And most quarterbacks, I think, feel that way. The former Cardinal, by the way, Gary Hogaboom, is now his backup. Well, here we go. The posse is in the game. And Art Monk is wide right. Ernest Finer, the single running back. Monk in motion. He'll put it up. Monk at the 37. A host of tacklers led by Michigan State's Anthony Bell, a linebacker. He led the coverage. Boy, but know, a good start for yeah, Humphreys. Yeah, it, it sure is. Every quarterback likes to start like that. And, you know, kind of interesting. It shows you the confidence they have in Stan Humphreys. Ordinarily, they'll throw a little screen pass or a dump pass to get a, a quarterback going. But Joe Gibbs calls a play right downfield on his first play up for Humphreys, and he delivers the ball well. 104 straight games in which Art Monk has caught a pass. 
Reiner is the setback. Monk in motion. And the give, it's Miner. He doesn't reach the 40-yard line. And a host of tacklers, Bell was there again. Keep an eye on number 56, Ken Harvey, as, as well tonight. He's an outstanding young linebacker out of the University of California. There he is. Yeah, you look at the Cardinal defense. You know, over the years, when you thought of the Cardinals, you thought of great offensive players, you know, Jim Hart and guys like that. But really, the stars, I think, on this Cardinal defense come on the defense. Ken Harvey is one of those. A really a virtually unknown linebacker, but he should be well-known. And they've got Tim McDonald, a safety, Freddie Joe Nunn, a defensive lineman. So the real stars in this team I think are on the defensive side of the ball. Third and short. Gerald Riggs checks into the backfield. That's Riggs, and he breaks it out to near midfield. Gerald Riggs, the former Atlanta Falcon who played his college ball in this stadium, picks up 10 and an easy first down for Washington. Yeah, the, the left guard here, watch number 68, Russ Grimm, and he's going to pull out and lead the way here. And how many times have they done it on the left side? He just steps around the pile and watches he meets the linebacker as he tries to step into the hole. That, that's a terrific block by Russ Grimm when you only need the one yard. You just hug his block. Biner fights to midfield, a pickup of about three. Biner Anthony Bell and Ken Harvey and on the stop. Joe Gibbs, I think, really one of the most innovative and versatile coaches in all of football, invented the H-back formation when he was down in San Diego because he wanted to get the ball to Kellen Winslow. Uses it here now, really, to block linebackers in the NFC East. Clark wide right, second and seventh from midfield. Monk in motion. Finer. Nothing there. No game. Ken Harvey made the stop. He's 6'2", a 230-pounder, middle linebacker. Eric Hill was there as well, and so was Anthony Bell, and they like their young linebackers. Yeah, the they, they really do, and a nice defensive play, but watch Art Monk, number 81, go in motion. He is just eyeballing the defender as he runs with MJ Taylor. Now, not much happened there. Good defensive play. But over the course of the game, what Washington does with their motion men and motion people, I think is one of the most interesting things that will happen this game because they use people in motion as well as anybody. Possession play, Kelvin Bryant checks in. He's a good pass receiver out of the backfield. Humphreys has time. As a man, Bryant diving. He got the first down if he gets the spot. Let's see. Anthony Bell on the coverage. You know, Kelvin Bryant out all of last year with an injury. And I think he is a, a terrific story in that what he does so well over the years, time after time again, is not only just find the soft spot and catch the ball, but he runs terrific routes. You know, lots of guys have good hands, but they don't do a very good job of getting open. But number 24 right there in the middle of the screen. Now he's just going to wait and wait and wait, help on a block, and then he just sits over the middle, and then he slips a tackler. Just makes a guy miss. That's Don to Osborne, number 90. And that's what maybe had a chance to pick it up the first down. It's a first down for Washington. And their drive continues with 7.43 left in what to this point has been a scoreless first quarter. You see the two head coaches. Two tight ends in there, Don Warren, Warren and Jimmy Johnson now for Washington. Gary Clark wide to the right. Ernest Biner is now the running back. Play action. Humphreys throws. Has a man over through. Don Warren was open, but the pass was too tall. He dove and couldn't get it at the 29. You know, Joe Gibbs was really concerned yesterday. Not so much that he didn't think Stan Humphreys can do it, but this the instability at quarterback over the years. You know, Joe Theismann did a wonderful job for him from 81 to 85, but since Theismann left, it's really been kind of a a uh, revolving door and you need stability at that position and in his offense because they asked their quarterbacks unlike a lot of systems to win football games week in and week out. Clark wide left Monk in motion to that direction. Now Monk is in the slot on that side. Humphreys rolls left sets up 
up and goes for Oliver. Knocked away, incomplete. It was intended for Clark. Good coverage by Jay Taylor. Boy. Taylor out of San Jose State. And that is a nice play by Jay Taylor because these, the posse of the Redskins, have killed the Cardinals the last few times they played them. They said, we're not going to let these guys beat us deep tonight. They may catch a few balls in front of us, but we're not going to let it come up with a big play. And Jay Taylor does a nice job of really keeping his body between the ball and the receiver. The tight end, Don Warren, is split to the left. Kelvin Bryant, the long setback. Third and ten. Oh. All along, oh. incomplete. Clark was all by himself. Humphreys missed it. was dropped balls a week ago, but that time, Gary Clark was absolutely alone by 10, 15 yards. And it was a crossing route. There was some confusion, actually, on the Cardinal defense. Nobody covered the tight end. Somebody got over Clark late. The ball just thrown behind Clark. If he catches that one, he's on the move and picks up maybe 40 yards. Ralph Mashenko ready to punt. By Sekahima as the deep man. A high pass, but he gets it away. And it's a good kick. And a fair catch is called and taken at the 12-yard line. So neither team can score in their first possession. It was a 32-yard punt. There was no return. We'll be back to Tempe after this from your local sponsors. It's said that good things come to those who wait. Things also come to those who grab them with both hands. The new 1991 Infinity G20 midsize luxury sedan. Now at your Infinity showroom. For more than a century, Riggs has helped send National Geographic to some of the most extraordinary locations above, below, and upon the face of the Earth. You should see some of the places we've helped send families. Riggs, bankers to the most important money in the world. Yours. Your post office delivery truck is also a pickup truck because Express Mail has pickup service. Call us and we'll pick up as many packages as you have, all for one low price of $4. Your guaranteed next morning delivery with Express Mail service at the lowest cost anywhere, just $8.75. So call 1-800-333-8777 and we'll be over to pick up your overnight packages for you. We have postal service. We deliver for you. I think everyone thinks it's Leo, but it's not Leo. When they did the autopsy, they found so many different ways that she could have died. She could have died three times that night. Twin Peaks at a special time tonight at 11.30. The wonderful opportunity for him, but he's got to seize the moment. And everybody's been calling for uh, the backup quarterbacks. The second three quarterbacks are always the most popular guy in every town. But they've got to come in and play well. Rosenbaugh brings up the Cardinals. They start at the 11-yard line. No score, first quarter. Johnson's got some room, but suddenly the hole is closed. Wilbur Marshall. Boy, he's a good one, and he made this stop. Looked like Johnson was off to the races till Wilbur got there. Yeah, there was a very large hole there, and Wilbur Marshall came out of nowhere to make the play. I mean, yeah, you, you play against him, you have a toothache for about a week with Wilbur Marshall. In last week's game, if he blitzed 20 times, they have used Wilbur Marshall more in blitzing situations than they have the last couple of years, and you're going to see him do that tonight. Green is split left. Second down, eight yards to go. Pro, the rookie, is in motion. Rosenbaum to throw. As a man, it's Pearl. He's dropped short of the first down. Martin Mayhew made the stop. Second year man out of Florida State. You know, you look at Ricky Prohl, and, and uh, every team is happy to have surprises. He has been one, the rookie in a Wake Forest. And, and what they like about Ricky Prohl is he, he said he said he's got football arrogance. What that means is he's acted like he's he deserves to be here from day one. 
And I tell you, if you're a quarterback, you love to have a, con a, a receiver with that kind of confidence. Double wing set. Now they shift it around. Third and about four. He's got time, and he overthrows his man. It was intended for throw. A flag has flown on the play, so let's wait. It's in the area where normally it's offensive holding, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, they'll decline that one. So they have to give it up. Rich Camarillo will kick it. Walter Stanley, you see, he's the deep man. The kick is from the eight-yard line, and it's another good one. Stanley at the 36, and he's hit and buried at the 35. In on the stop, Michael Zordon. Still no score. 5-10 left, first quarter. Introducing the new S15 Jimmy Four-Door, because getting to work shouldn't be work. And just the new S15 Jimmy Four-Door has more leg room and cargo space. Not to mention room for five campers and their gear. GMC truck, it's not just a truck anymore. Get special incentives on the new 91 S15 Jimmy four-door. Being a star of my magnitude, you're wondering what more can any man want? To be the place kicker for the Cleveland Browns. To kick one through the uprights with no time remaining. I practice, oh, I practice barefoot in two-degree weather, but the Browns, you see, they haven't called. What do I have to do, fellas? Steal the team mascot? Martin Mole, not your everyday fan for Team NFL merchandise. For your catalog, call 1-800-USA-FOR-NFL. And then in 1961, I went off to college and decided that I'd spend some time on, you know. There's one important business decision every young man must make. What to wear on the first day of work. At Kuppenheimer, we've made more good first impressions than anyone in $185 wool blends. $195 pure wools, even $210 worsteds. Whatever your choice, any Kuppenheimer suit will make you look good. And every Kuppenheimer price will make you look smart. Kuppenheimer, America's number one value clothier for men. Shop now during Woody's Harvest Sale with 15 to 50% savings store-wide. Our biggest sale of the year with all the very best for fall. Frank Herzog's expanded Redskins coverage on News 7 Sports Sunday. That's a restricted view seat. You got to look around the cactus there. And no, the Cardinals don't charge you for that one. Yeah, you can't move those uh, cacti, can you? From the 35 yard line, Ernest Piner in at running back, the former Cleveland Brown. Art Monk in motion. Now Clark splits left. They go trips left. Piner. It's been a struggle for him to this point. Tim McDonald, a fine safety, came up on the stop. Freddie Joe Nunn was there as well, the five-year man from Ole Miss. Ernest Biner has really been uh, a, a very nice back for the Washington Redskins, and what he does is be able to play every down for you and do all that you ask for a guy. I mean, a lot of running backs can get your quarterback killed by not pass protecting, and Biner blocks awfully well. He can run, get you tough yards, and can catch the ball as well. Second down, around eight yards to go. Humphreys, screen pass. He's got his man, it's Jimmy Johnson. He's still on his feet and finally wrestled down at the 47-yard line by Carl Hairston, a 15-year veteran out of Maryland Eastern Shore. Nine-yard pickup. Hey, this was really set up well. Watch number 85, Don Warren, who doesn't get enough credit, I think, in this Redskin offense on Freddie Joe Nunn. He controls his man that allows Stan Humphreys to get the screen backside. And it was Ernest Biner, too, clearing out the route that caused the play. So it was a nice uh, play there because three or four guys, the receivers, did their job. Clark wide to the right. Monk in the slot to that side. Now in motion. Play action. 
option pass. Clark breaks the tackle. Can't break the next one. And out of bounds he goes. Lonnie Young made the saving tackle. 13-yard pickup. You know, uh, Gary Clark is, is so strong. I mean, he's only 173 pounds, but he says, hey, I like to be bump and run with a guy, and I like to be able to release because I can make some people miss. And he did it right there. These are the kind of receivers, the posse for the Redskins, that turn little three- and five-yard gains into those 15-yard gains and put a lot of quarterbacks into the Pro Bowl. Cedric Mack was the man who missed him. First down at the 41 in Cardinal territory. Finer. And a flag flies as he's brought down. Might be holding. Let's see. Tim McDonald made the stop. The flag landed at the feet of Jim Lachey. Well, you know, Lachey was saying yesterday that hey, I, I really like to start a game by running the football a lot. He said a hey, quarterback's getting rhythm by throwing the ball. Receivers have to get in rhythm. Offensive linemen have to get in rhythm, and you can only do that by run blocking. So they're set back into their own territory at the 49-yard line, and it's second and 20. Clark wide right. Monk spreads that well as well. Johnson in motion. Humphreys to throw. He has pressure. Complete. Finer. Back to the 40-yard line. A pickup of 11, but a third down play. None. Applied the pressure to Humphrey. Well, actually, I think it's a second down. Although the clock said third down, it's actually second and ten. And so what the Redskins were trying to do there is really just get some of the yardage back. You don't try to get the whole 20 yards on a first down play, so you hope to maybe get half. And now they have two downs to get the nine yards. Second down, nine yards to go. Hart Monk in motion. Line. Still short of the first down. Yeah. Garth Jacks, a reserve linebacker, made the stop. Yeah, that's a hustling, hustling Garth Jacks who makes that play skip because really Gary Clark was uh, had broken the tackle and was going to get up field for the first down. But Garth Jacks, who's a terrific special teams player for the Cardinals, hustled over and made the play. Calvin Bryant back into the game. Biner goes up, third and four. Yeah, now here's where you have to really, I think, double team Kelvin Bryant. You have to force them to go somewhere else. Ricky Sanders in motion. Humphrey complete. I think he got the first down. Kelvin Bryant again. <laughs> if you're Joe Bugle, you're so frustrated because you know. Kelvin Bryan has made a career at running these same kind of routes on third down and four and five. They're going to measure this. I thought he had picked it up. He was running right toward the stick. Let's look at it as he goes out of bounds. Why am I doing your replay? <laughs> I, you look like you wanted did... to. Yeah, I thought you'd do the telestrator next. I know. No, no, thank you. <laughs> You've had that happen to you before. It'll never happen to me. All right, well. Kelvin Bryant, you know, uh, he usually has a great sense of where those first down markers are, but he was wide open. I think if the ball had been thrown a little bit earlier, he would have picked it up very, very easily. He got the first down. Yeah. You know, Joe Gibbs said about Kelvin Bryant, he said he's the best receiver out of the backfield I've ever seen. They're pretty well set up. They use uh, Biner on first and second yeah. down, third and short. They can go to Riggs, third and passing, and they go to Bryant. Well, you know, they, they have a bunch of role players, these Redskins do. Everybody understands their role, they know it, and they assume that role and play it extremely well. And it keeps everybody happy, too, Skip, because everybody's contributing. Humphreys has completed five in a row. He's seven out of ten, 54 yards. From the 30, Biner, nothing there. A host of tacklers met him. Eric Hill among them. Big Daddy Carl Hairston. 15 years of experience. Yeah. He's got to be a tough cookie. 
He is number 98 there in the middle of your screen. He is a large man. He uh, has been chasing quarterbacks since the last uh, Democratic administration. He has been around 15 Sundays of chasing quarterbacks, 15 years. Yeah, that's a uh, distinguished company. He's in. Absolutely. Second down, nine yards to go. The ninth play of this drive. Complete, but nothing there. Monk made the reception, but got very little. Well, this Cardinal defense has really done what they did, what they wanted to do in this first quarter, and that is keep the wide receivers in front of them. Don't get beaten deep as you did in the first game. Keep the game close. And give your team a chance to win in the second half. The gun sounds in the first quarter is history. No score at third and seven will confront Washington. We'll be back after this from your local sponsors. Okay, people, come on now. Let's get in play. Here we go now. And one, and two, and out, and kick, and kick, and... Come on now. Shake it, don't break it. To find what they're looking for, more and more fingers are walking through the one book yellow pages. And up and down, and up and down. The One Book. It's just like the old Yellow Pages, only better. Thanks, Dan. You're welcome. To all kinds of people, Sunday means starting the week with the New York Times. What would you say to a Caribbean crew? The Sunday Times is an event to be shared. Want to go for a drive? And safer. The stores don't open till noon. It's a treat for the mind and a feast for the eye. Sunday blank. The Sunday Times makes the world a little more understandable. Driver? A little more entertaining. Sunday brunch. The New York Times. Now, seven-day delivery is just two fifty a week in most of the D.C. area. Saturday afternoon, we were taking our walk. It's the same thing for over a month now. Come in, look around, drive the car. The two of them. I have my eye on that silver one. I mean, I know she really wants it, so I tell her a price. Twenty-eight nine fifty. I think that's terrific, but I stay cool and we go for a drive again. We talked a little and we drove a little, and then we talked some more. Here we go again. Only Merlin doesn't think it's his color. Get this, it turned out Merlin could live with it. Thursday night, catch TNT's Our Favorite Movie Skip. It's a presentation starring John Wayne as a cavalry officer who's having trouble deciding between retirement and an approaching war with the Indians in She Wore a Yellow Ribbon, Thursday night on TNT. Beautifully done. Thank you very much. You appreciate that? Third down and about seven. Calvin Bryant in the backfield again, a possession play. Clark in motion. Humphreys incomplete. That's a ball Ricky Sanders, I think, probably could have had, although it was thrown pretty hard. But remember, a week ago, six passes dropped by these Redskin receivers, and they didn't score an offensive touchdown. Low Miller will try a 45-yard field goal. Mashenko will hold. Brandis will snap it. It's long enough. No. He just missed it. So the Cardinals have held, and that pumps up this crowd. Still scoreless. We'll be back right after this. 14 sales calls, six cities, two days. Oh, and don't forget your mother's birthday. Sanders, why don't I have his number? I have a listing for a Sanders pharmacy on Elm Street. Can I get delivery in a week? Well, I'll call the warehouse in Houston. Can I use your phone? When you're on the road, nobody has more ways to help you than AT&T. Hello, Mom. Of course I'm eating right. I got just the thing for your birthday. AT&T, how can we help you? Introducing the new S15 Jimmy four-door. Because getting to work shouldn't be work. The new S15 Jimmy four-door has more leg room and cargo space. 
But not to mention room for five campers and their gear. GMC truck, it's not just a truck anymore. Get special incentives on the new 91 S15 Jimmy four-door. The Type A personality vacation. The Type B personality vacation. The best vacations are this vacation. The Royal Caribbean vacation. Now the fast track has a pit stop. Royal Caribbean introduces three and four night Bahamas vacations. Cardinals go to work from the 28 yard line. No score, 14.50 left in our first half. Well, it's really been the defensive kind of game that the, the first game was not, quite honestly. And Joe Bugle has to be happy that after one quarter it's 0 0 because it wasn't in the first matchup. There's Johnson, and he's got room. 40, 45, down the sideline, and finally knocked out of bounds by Daryl Green who may have saved a touchdown. 37 yard gallop and suddenly Phoenix is driving. And, and that was beautifully blocked by his offensive line. Watch the right side of the offensive line lead the way for Johnny Johnson. In, in professional football, you don't find holes like this too often. And that offensive line did a great job. Lance Smith, number 61. And Johnny Johnson runs a little opera upright. But he's always going forward. He's always leaning forward. He changes hands there with little subtle things. The straight arm. The little subtle things a running back does to pick up an extra yard. Boy, they've got the crowd into this thing now. Johnson again. Another good advance. Down to about the 32-yard line. Alvin Walton made the stop. He's out of Kansas, out of the secondary and safety. You know, Joe Bugle and this entire staff and, and team of the Cardinals were really were embarrassed about their opening 31 to nothing uh, opening season loss to the Redskins. And, and it seems to me the, the, the turnaround, the, the second game in a series like that, it's always a lot closer because these players, they've got some talented players who take a lot of pride and refuse to be embarrassed tonight. Second and five again, it's Johnson inside the 30. Wilbur Marshall made the stop, and now a flag flies into the pipe. Personal foul against Washington. It might have been on Greg Maneski for a late hit. That's uh, Jim Hannafin, the offensive line coach who took Joe Bugle's place. It is, it is Minuski. It was Alvin Walton who's not late there, but it was the helmet, yeah, good call. Greg Minuski, the middle linebacker, went low with the helmet, and they're going to call a spear every time on him. Green wide to the left. First down at the 15. J.T. Smith in motion. They give it to Johnson again. Not much there. He gets Johnson back to the line of scrimmage. Greg Minuski made the stop. He had 24 tackles coming into this game. Yeah, the, the thing you like about Johnny Johnson is he can be an every down back for you. He's off to a very nice first half. But what he can do, he can catch the ball out of the backfield. He runs nice routes. He's a good short yardage runner. And he can pick up 20 and 30 and 40 yards at a gallop as well. So he's a guy who is unusual in today's game because he can play every down. He's rushed eight times for 55 yards. Rosenbaum will put it up. Into the corner, Green made a dive, he's out of bounds. Todd Bowles uncovered. Roy Green in his 12th year for the Cardinals, and Bugle was saying when he was on the Washington staff, their defensive coaches, when they got ready to play the Cardinals, the first thing you do is you stop Roy Green. You find out where Roy Green is, and you put one or two guys on him. 12 years out of Henderson State. Third down and nine. Can't have a sack here or a turnover. They're in field goal range, but no sack here on Rosenthal. Into the end zone! No! No! 
He did not have possession. It was Ricky Crow. He was juggling his and he went over the end line. No touchdown. I think he took a pretty good shot by the free safety bowls that kept Ricky Crowell from catching this ball. But this, this is a beautifully thrown ball by Rosenbaugh and a nicely designed play. He goes up top and then he gets hit right there. It wasn't Bowles, it was actually 34 Brian Davis. Otherwise, that's a touch. So Al Del Greco is in to attempt a 32-yard field goal. The Cardinals want a timeout here. Confusion reigns supreme. They may have either 10 men on the field or they want to review. Let's see what's what. Yeah. They, they want to review. There's a big screen in here. And a lot of people saw the replay and thought it was a touchdown, but I, I don't think there's any way that he had possession when he came down. Take another look at this uh, attempted catch by Ricky Kroll of 87. He's got it there. He's got to come down with both feet. You know, he's juggling the ball. That is not a catch. Now they say there is no review. And they may have been a man short, the card. Maybe they asked for one and didn't get it in any event. You know what? They have burned a timeout. Another defensive day in the NFL, Skip. I saw a couple of games, a lot of defensive uh, returns. Wasn't that an Yeah, that was a good game. That reminded me of USC and Notre Dame out in yeah. Los Angeles. Long time ago. See the Bills next week. Looking forward to that. And, uh, I'll tell you, the Raiders... There were some skeptics, but they did it the right away. They ran the ball. They came up with some big plays in the passing game. The Steelers still have not scored a touchdown. That's an amazing yeah. story. Del Greco from 32. Tom Tupo a hole. The Cardinals have the lead in their first points of the year in six quarters against the Washington Redskins. So it's 3-0 with 12-22 remaining in the first half. We'll be back after this from your local sponsors. To the eye, the Lexus LS400 looks like an elegantly contoured luxury sedan. sedan in America. It's true, with another long-distance telephone service to Paris, you could get more of some things. Like busy signals when the lines are tied up. So before you make your next international call, call AT&T. It's true, with another long-distance service to Seoul, you could get more of some things. Like static. So before you make your next international call, call AT&T. And we're going to be able to do that by offering a real physical value to that frequent business flyer. We've got a product now we can attract them back with. We're going to give them a corporate rate that the corporate travel manager will approve, and we're going to offer the flyer a real, live, first-class seat in the process. To meet the demand, we're doubling our first-class cabin and no one can match this. The other guy can't get there from here. Be sure to join us next Sunday night at 7 o'clock Eastern for the stadium show with host Fred Hickman for all the scores and highlights from week five. Following at a special kickoff time of 7.30, the AFC battle between the undefeated Raiders, who are 4-0, and, and the Buffalo Bills, now 3-1. and one. Stadium show at 7, followed by the Raiders and Bills at 7.30, only on TNT. Joe Howard, Brian Mitchell, the deep man, Al Del Greco will kick it off. Brian Mitchell. From the five, he's got a picket. He's out of bounds at about the 38-yard line. And they're going to call a flag for a late hit, and I don't really know if that's a good call. A fine return by Mitchell. Yeah, this is fun to watch Brian Mitchell. He also is a rookie who's made a real impact with the Redskins on special teams. The guy who came in with 
It was a personal foul against the Cardinals, but Brian Mitchell came in with that athletic arrogance that coaches love to see. The very first time he touched the ball for the Redskins in the preseason, he went 92 yards with a kickoff return for a touchdown. He's made a major contribution on special teams. He's going to be a, ultimately probably replace Kelvin Bryant as a back out of the backfield. Converted quarterback out of high school and in college, where he set an NCAA record scoring 47 touchdowns. Brian Mitchell can play. The personal foul was on Tracy Eaton, but I don't think he knew that he had stepped out of bounds. What a big break for the Redskins, and they start at the 47-yard line. They're in Phoenix territory. 3-0 Cardinals. Yeah, they, that was a nice run, but again, it was Russ Grimm, the left guard. The left guard, Grimm, who led the way. 11-yard pickup, first down. Watch this left side. This is Grimm as he pulls the way and kicks out and leads the way for Gerald Riggs. Now, everybody says to Gerald Riggs, nice run, but he doesn't get a crease unless Russ Grimm blocks his man, Harvey, the linebacker. Gary Clark, wide left. Ken Harvey and Carl Hairston on the stop. You know, Skip, you talk about, you, you, you just mentioning all the shifting in motion of the Redskins. You know, it used to be that teams in the NFL just kind of out-executed other teams. You know, the old Packer teams where you could dominate players. But now I think there's so much talent on defense. Coaches like Joe Gibbs say, we have to use formations. We have to use motion. In fact, yesterday they have one play called 585. He said, we'll run that tonight from 10 different formations trying to get the advantage to create and some indecision on defense. Riggs out, Ernest Beiner back into the game for Washington, second and eight at the 34. Oh, what a move. Flag down, 18 yard line, Gary Clark out of James Madison, but watch the flag. Eldonta Osborne out of Louisiana Tech made the stop. The penalty is going to be against Phoenix. But Tim McDonald, the defensive back safety for the Cardinals, was saying about Gary Clark, he said, he's so tough at the line of scrimmage because he releases so well. McDonald says, we've got to get our hands on him. We have to be able to jam Gary Clark. But if they're not bump and run him, it's just an audible. If nobody's out there, they're just going to dump him the ball and then let him get up and make people miss. I'll tell you, it's a great fake when you can fake a guy out from your knees. That's what he did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he, is, he has surprising strength, too. Three catches on the night for Clark. He'll, he'll make people miss, but then he can run through tackles as well. He splits wide left. Gerald Riggs back in the game. First down at the 18. Riggs to the 15-yard line. In on the stop, Jim Waller, a defensive tackle. Uh, Joe Waller Bugle. out of UCLA. Joe Bugle knows this Redskin, Redskin team so well. He said when they get inside the 25-yard line tonight, they like to get the ball to Gary Clark and to Kelvin Bryant. We have to take those two guys away inside the 25. 9.38 left in the first half. It's 3-0 Phoenix, but the Redskins are driving. Riggs the running back. He gets three more down to the 12. Rod Sadler made the stop. Third and four. Riggs now five carries for 28 yards. We're talking about Joe Gibbs in the H-back formation, which that's the tight end moving. It. The H-back was just a, a letter they didn't have any use for in San Diego, and that's how the, the, the formation came about. But it was developed for Keller Winslow, and now he uses it to block Lawrence Taylor of the Giants. Kelvin Grant back in the game and running back their pass catching specialist. Third and four. Oh, he was held. Yeah, he was held. Flag. 
The pass intended for Clark. The call is apparently going to be on Jay Taylor, yeah, the second-year man. He just grabbed his jersey. It was an easy call, but a beautiful route by Larry Clark. Uh, Clark. You got it, partner. You know, you know, Skip, what's fun to watch about good receivers like really both these teams have is the way they set up defensive bats. And tonight we've seen Gary Clark run some short routes and run inside routes. Well, that time he faked inside and then broke outside. And just what Joe Bugle said, inside the 25, you got to watch out for Gary Clark and Kelvin Bryant. First and goal from the seventh. Gerald Riggs, the setback behind Humphrey. Monk in motion. Riggs. Inside the five, he moves the pile close to the four. Freddie Joe Nunn on the stop. Yeah, you, you said it right. He moved the pile. And, and that's what Gerald Riggs does, is he moves the pile. You know, there are scat backs in the NFL this uh, this year who are great on passing downs. But when it gets inside the 10 and 15 yard line and you need to move the pile, what do you do? You give the ball to a guy like Riggs. Second and goal from the four yard line. Clark splits to the right. Down to the two. Ken Harvey on the stop. Okay. Yeah, the the, the uh, Redskins do not have a rushing touchdown this year. They've really become a, 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 a throwing football team. And I think what makes the Redskins and Joe uh, Gibbs' team so dangerous is they're a combination of power, which we've seen with Riggs, and finesse. They can finesse you and then give you a headache. Eric Hill shaken up on that play, but comes off under his own power, though limping slightly. Third and goal from the two. Yeah, that's a guy right there, Eric Hill, that you want on defense on third and goal. It's still Riggs at running back. Biner is in there as well. They go into an eye formation. Jimmy Johnson in motion. have the lead and, and that was a really a nice drive and you have to be happy for Stan Humphreys getting his first start he he's been moving the chains here but it's the left side of the offensive line that really th there shouldn't be this much room on the two yard line you and get, the, the Cardinals exuberance hurt him with a couple of penalties yeah you're right but you know this off you talk about thousand yard rushers they have a, a lot of thousand yard blockers in that offensive line Low Miller is now seven of seven for the year and the Redskins with 7-14 remaining in the first half. Now enjoy a 7-3 lead. We'll be back to the campus of Arizona State University right after this. When I make up my mind, it stays made up. And I made up my mind to buy an Accord. Then I hear about the Stanza Challenge. Go to a Nissan dealer, test drive a Stanza, and if you still buy an Accord, they give you $100. So I took a test drive. That doesn't make me indecisive, does it? Anyway, I find out that the Nissan Stanza has more horsepower, more standard features, it costs less. It really is a great car at a great price. So I changed my mind. <laughs> so sue me. Take the Nissan Stanza Challenge now. What you want as the flyer is you want first class at coach prices. We want to show you a brand new first class cabin. Take a look at that. Oh, man. Great mm -hmm. seats. Beautiful. Nice. On the 1st of October, 95% uh, of Eastern's fleet will have the expanded cabin. Now, they won't all have the new seats. You'll get the leg room. You'll get the food service. You'll get the extra flight attendant. But the key to this is pricing. Uh, Eastern's pricing policies conform to your corporate travel policies. And we're calling this our corporate rate. When it's your business, you do what you have to do. For example, if a customer needs something in a hurry and you have to unload the truck yourself, you do it. That's what an owner does for a customer. 
That's why I rent cars from Avis. Avis is the only major rent-a-car company owned by its employees, and they're trying harder with Roving Rapid Return, a computerized drop-off system now at more locations than ever to get you on your way faster. They say that you can't please everybody. I say an owner's sure gonna try. Avis, we're trying harder than ever. The NFL on TNT is being brought to you by Nissan. Built for the human race. And by Royal Caribbean, the cruise line sponsor of Turner Sports. Terrence Flagler and by Sekahima, the deep man. Sekahima brings it up. And is tripped up and down he goes at the 20 yard line. Joe Howard made the stop. Eight plays, 47 yards, five minutes and eight seconds on the scoring drive, and seven of those plays, Gerald Riggs carried the ball for 26 yards. Yeah, but remember, a 16-yard pass play, a five-yard penalty as well. Yeah, and remember the special teams play, Brian Mitchell returning the kickoff back and then the penalty on top of that. So special teams got it started, and then it was a nice drive for the Redskins led by their, their quarterback, Stan Humphreys. From the 20-yard line, Johnny Johnson still the sole setback behind Rosenbach. Play action. He's got a man. Green complete and knocked down at the 37 yard line. Daryl Green on the stop. Yeah, Roy Green has been so much fun to watch over the years. This is a great matchup. Daryl Green and Roy Green. And these guys are going to be challenging each other all evening. That The first battle here goes to Roy Green. Daryl Green will get his later on tonight, but these two guys have been going at it head to head, one on one, for the past five or six years. I wonder how many times they have literally banged heads a yeah. bunch. First down, Cardinal in their own territory. Johnson picks his way and crosses the 40 to the 42 yard line. Tracy Rocker was in on the stop, the second year man out of Auburn, a 288 pounder. Yeah, you're talking about Daryl Green and how many times he and Roy Green go together, but you always know when, when, when Daryl Green plays the Cardinals that he's going to be matched up against Roy Green. Because what they do is put him on, on their best receiver. It's kind of a mixed blessing when you walk out of the huddle for the first play. And if, if Daryl Green's on you, it's a compliment because you're the best receiver, but it can be a long day as well. J.T. Smith to the right, Green to the left. an amazing story he got kicked off his college team his senior year that's why he got buried in the draft but now they can't get him out of the lineup yeah, and, and I think what makes him a special player we talked about him being able to play every down but he runs a little bit off upright much like Eric Dickerson does but he's always got the body lean and he does little things he uses the forearms uh, the uh, straight arm he'll change the ball from uh, side to side but, you know, you mentioned he get, him getting kicked off the team at San Jose State, but his teammates have said, hey, this is a good guy. He's a good for our team. He's good in the locker room. And he's acting like he belongs here from day one. He's still in there. J.T. Smith in motion. Rosenbaum to throw. Now to run. 45. 40. Dives to the 36 yard line. Andre Collins, the rookie out of Penn State, faced him up at a nine-yard scramble. <laughs> hey, Tim Rosenball had strawberries all over his elbows from the game last week against New Orleans when they played on AstroTurf. Because he, he does like to run. And he's not one of these guys that, that's going to run out of bounds a lot. Oftentimes, he'll try to run right over you. But over the process, as he learns to be a, a, a strong and a very good quarterback in this league, and I think ultimately he will, He'll get rid of the ball. He'll throw the ball more downfield rather than run. Second and a short two. Johnson. I think he got Johnson the first down. Well, yeah. He did. Yeah, isn't that nice watching Johnson because he moved the pile just like Gerald Riggs did it earlier. For a lot less money. <laughs> well, he'll remind of them of that next contract, believe me. But, you know, he, we've seen him catch the ball. He's been good in the open field. 11 carries tonight, 75 yards. Three wide receivers now in there for the Cardinals. J.T. Smith, Ricky Pearl, Roy Green. 
There's Thompson. He's the forgotten man. Boy, when you don't sign that contract and get to camp, you really put yourself behind the eight ball. Johnson going wide. He's got Rook. 30. 26. Wilbur Marshall will stop. Eight more yards. That's 83 yards in the game for Johnson. But you, you know, Johnson sets up. Uh, I think defenders really well. This is the first time I've seen him in person, but the way he sets up people. And then he picked up a real nice block by his wide receiver, Roy Green. He talked about Green, number 81, the top of the screen. I think one of the most unselfish players, uh, receivers in the league, because he's not afraid to do this, to block for his guy and pick up and, and let his running back run right behind him for an additional five yards. He gets a blow, and Anthony, Anthony Thompson checks into the game. And Thompson straight ahead, crosses the 25, close to the 23-yard line. And Anthony Thompson was supposed to be the guy. The highest draft pick in the second round for the Cardinals was supposed to be the guy this year. But when he held out, Johnny Johnson just kind of took the position by Strong and is not about to give it up. Another first down for the Cardinals. Time is now a factor. 2.28 remaining. The Cardinals have the two-minute warning plus two timeouts. Roy Green, wide right. From the 23, Thompson. 20, 19-yard line. Close to a late hit there, but no flag. Alvin Walton made the stop along with Wilbur Marshall. So the two-minute warning is upon us. Johnny Johnson checks back into the game. Phoenix has rushed for 103 yards so far. We'll be back after this from your local sponsors. In our healthcare system, costs are out of control. Paying for a major medical problem can mean losing the life savings, selling the house, leaving the dream. National health care reform. The time is now. A message from the unions of the AFL-CIO. If you've missed Alaska, 1991's the time to come. See its pristine shoreline, nearly recovered now after last year's spill. Alive and well, a land teeming with fish and wildlife. Prince William Sound, one of Alaska's jewels, with sapphire seas and diamond glaciers. Come share America's treasure, Alaska. How sure are we that you'll love driving the new Volkswagen Passat? So sure that we'll let you drive it anywhere for up to 3,000 miles, or any place for up to 30 days, whichever comes first. And if you don't come out loving it, we'll give you your money back. That's the Passat Satisfaction Guarantee. Now, how can we be so certain you'll feel so strongly? In a word, Farfignugan. It can turn any drive into a truly uplifting experience. The Passat Satisfaction Guarantee. See your dealer for details. Coming up at halftime, the Nissan Halftime Report hosts Fred Hickman along with Ernie Johnson Jr. and Ken Stabler. All the updates from week four in the NFL. And once again, a Rye Paul Ryden original in zone dancing. I can't wait to uh, hear more about that Steeler offense. I, I have a question for you. What's going to happen first? Are they going to score a touchdown or will an American win the Masters? I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure which is going to happen first. Second down, six yards to go from the 20. Johnny Johnson back in there as the setback. That's Johnson. He's down to the 11-yard line, or close to it. Alvin Walton, the safety man, had to make the stop. Boy, this guy's a good-looking back. Yeah, there, there, there's again some of the bad luck, bad blood that they were talking about. The uh, Cardinals really took exception at the end of the game to what they thought was a cheap shot by Brian Davis. And a lot of their players and coaches were talking about it this week in the newspapers. But yeah, they, get, they get the first the Cardinals do. 
I think one of the differences between these two teams is that down here, the Redskins have a guy to go to a featured player, and the Cardinals are still trying to find that featured player to get the ball to inside the 20. Green to the left, Ernie Jones to the right, J.T. Smith in the slot. Rosenbach is going to throw it into the end zone. He threw it away. No shot. Darrell Green on the coverage. Roy Green was the intended receiver, but he had no chance. Good coverage there by the Redskins. Yeah, it was terrific coverage, and what I'm a little bit surprised, really, quite honestly, is that the Redskins haven't been able to get to Rosenball. Yes, he's got some quick feet, but a week ago, the uh, Redskins had nine sacks against the Cowboys. Troy Aikman. 7-3 Washington is our score. Second and 10 at the 12. One seventeen left in the half. Johnson, the running back. J.T. Smith just does get on the field. Yeah, oh, boy. And now whistles fly, and I think they used up the clock. No, there's still four seconds on the clock. Well, this bugle wanted a timeout. There was some real confusion of whether J.T. Smith should have been on the field or not. And he still doesn't know, and so timeout time out is called by Phoenix but that's that's a costly blow for them because they have yeah, squandered their second yeah, time absolutely out. so that's the story 115 left second and 10 at the 12 we'll be back to see if Phoenix can punch it in right after this you need two hands to count all the special rates and discounts on all state car insurance for more than one car pickup trucks anti-lock brakes, airbags, good drivers, excellent drivers with Allstate home insurance, and retired drivers over 55. Pick up a phone and call an Allstate agent for details. For lots of ways to save, you're in good hands with Allstate. It's the new Canon Futura. With futuristic flash and long-range power zoom lens, the new Fotura from Canon. So advanced, it's simple. The Nissan I want is the, uh... Oh, it was in those commercials. They drove it to South America, the, uh... The Pathfinder. Pathfinder. We'd load up the Pathfinder and... Whoops, we're gonna get a four-door. And go skiing every weekend. The Paris Dakar Rally. We could be the first family to race from Paris to Africa. Quit our jobs, pull the kids out of school. Eh, maybe not. The Type A personality vacation. The Type B personality vacation. The best vacations are this vacation. The Royal Caribbean vacation. I think everyone thinks it's Leo, but it's not Leo. When they did the autopsy, they found so many different ways that she could have died. She could have died three times that night. Twin Peaks at a special time tonight at 1130. But Rosenbaugh actually goes under the guard. And for all you quarterbacks out there, it happens to all of us. It's happened to every quarterback I know at least once. On second thought, a good timeout. Rosenbaugh the throw into the end zone. Touchdown. Roy Green, flag on the play, so hold the phone. Apparently, the flag on the Redskins. But let's make sure. It is on Washington. It's 9-7. But wait a minute. Let's see what this is all about. They've got a 9-7 on the scoreboard. And that's the way it is. Yeah. Del Greco will try the extra point. Tom Tupo will hold. Connie Kwai will snip it. And it's a 10-7 game. We still don't know what the flag was all about. They may have... Picked it up. 79 yards on that drive. A very impressive jaunt down the field for the Phoenix Cardinals. There's the catch by Green. The man he beat was Brian Davis. 
We'll be back right after this. I am never wrong. And you know why? Because I make my decisions very carefully, and I decided I wanted a Camry. Then I heard about the Stanza Challenge. Go to a Nissan dealer and test drive a Stanza. If you still buy a Camry, they'll give you $100. So I took a test drive. It turns out the Nissan Stanza has more horsepower, more standard features. It really is a great car at a great price, and I'm never wrong. Except for that part about wanting a Camry. Take the Nissan Stanza Challenge now. Before this, you never heard of cold filter. Before this, you never heard of genuine draft taste in a bottle. Now hear this. Get out of the old, get for the cold. Cold filter taste what it's all about. Never heat past your eyes. So the rim smooth taste don't cool down. The bullshit is covered it's real draft taste. The world can be a very cool place. Get out of the old, get into the cold. Miller Genuine Draft. DHL was making express deliveries overseas before Federal Express was even in business. With a head start like that, we can simply do things others can't. DHL, faster to more of the world. Who will be the next Redskin Player of the Week? The one book lets you make the call on News 7 Sports Sunday at 11. Tonight's Redskins game is brought to you in part by The One Book. It's just like the old yellow pages, only better. Well, the kickoff sails into the end zone. There'll be no return, so it's first down at the 20-yard line for a Washington team that's down by three. Wilbur Marshall was called for roughing the passer on the touchdown play. Yeah, and, and, and you can see the, the late hit there right at the part of the screen, but Roy Green set up the play well. He beat Roy, uh, Brian Davis, number 34, very easily. And we talked about sequencing the plays and how receivers set guys up. He had run a couple of inside routes, caught an inside ball, and then ran the corner route for the touch. There's 109 left. Let's see how Washington plays it here. They're down by three. They have all their timeouts left. Sanders in motion. They keep it on the ground. Biner crosses the 25-yard line. Eldonta Osborne among those on the stop, along with Anthony Bell. You know, I, I think you, when you have a quarterback like Stan Humphreys, who they believe can do it all, the coaching staff is very confident. They said, we're not going to hold anything back. You, have, you should let him play here. Looks like they're going to let the half run out, but I'm surprised that because of the confidence they have in Stan Humphreys, they don't let him run a two-minute drill. Yeah, they're taking as much time as they can. You can see the clock down to less than 35 when they snap it, unless they're setting up one long bomb. Sanders in motion. Oh, they keep it on the ground. Biner is short of the first down at the 29-yard line. Well, after what happened on September 9th, the first game of the season, Joe Bugle, and a very emotional coach in an emotional game, has to be delighted with what he has seen in the first half. His team goes in at halftime with a three-point lead. And remember, they got blown out 31-0 before. And Fred Hickman. Fred. Coming up at halftime, the Nissan Halftime Report. All kinds of stuff waiting for you. An offbeat report from Paul Ryden on end zone antics. Something completely different for Paul. Also, we have all the scores and the highlights coming up for you from Atlanta with Ernie and the Snake and much, much more. That's on the Nissan Halftime Report. Coming up. coming out we'll make you a deal we want a car and we want money how about a subaru legacy does it have air conditioning and four-wheel disc brakes standard okay what's the deal how about 
$3,100. Right now, you can save over $3,100 on a Subaru Legacy L automatic sedan with a value plus package. Okay, we're coming out. This would be a lot easier if they just come down to the showroom. To find what they're looking for, more and more fingers are walking through the one book yellow pages. Hey, what? Nice hat. Thanks. The one book. It's just like the old yellow pages, only better. Why torture yourself? Ride Metro. The Nissan Halftime Report is being brought to you by Nissan. Built for the human race. Welcome back to Tempe, Arizona, Sun Devil Stadium. This is the Nissan Halftime Report section of the stadium show. And folks, we have a game going on here. 10 to 7, the Phoenix Cardinals are leading. I did predict the Phoenix win because we still got a half of football to go, but you do have to be a little bit impressed. It with is Phoenix. still halftime. Maybe watch Tennessee play last night against oh, yeah. Auburn or watch Buffalo play today against Denver. Knows anything can happen. But Stan Humphreys, you said he's a good quarterback, a lot of talent. I am kind of impressed with him, but how did he play behind Bubby Brister? Shouldn't he have been ahead of Bubby Brister at Northeast Louisiana? <laughs> Bubby graduated, eh? and then, uh, Bubby did make the NFL, too. I think the key to this game is emotion. St. Louis is close. Joe Bugle is an emotional guy, and right now in the locker room, he's pumped up. He's going to get these guys pumped up. If the skins don't come out in the second half and do something really quickly, they're in for one tough night. Well, we've had a good and entertaining half of football. We've got another half to go, but right now we're going to take it on to Ernie Johnson and Kenny the Snake Stabler in Atlanta with all of the scores and highlights from today. Gentlemen, take it away. Thank you very much, Fred Hickman. Ernie Johnson here with the Nissan Halftime Report in our Atlanta studios. Joined, as always, by the snake, Ken Stabler. We have ten finals to run down. Got a few highlights. Got all the scores. Let's start it off at Rich Stadium in Buffalo, where the Bills were playing host to the Denver Broncos today. Pretty good matchup, and uh, it was all Denver until the fourth period. Buffalo's defense comes up with a turnover. Lee uh, Seals uh, tips John Elway's pass. Leonard Smith, therefore, takes it back 40 yards for the Bills' first lead of the game. They scored three touchdowns in a minute 17 to come back and win that one 29 to 28. The Steelers still have yet to score a touchdown on offense. Dolphins beat them 28-6, and it was the Jets 37-13 over the Patriots. The Chicago Bears and L.A. Raiders, a battle of unbeatens, goes to the Raiders. Raider defense just keeps doing them. Here they force Jim Harbaugh into making a middle mistake of trying to make something happen when he should throw the ball away. Greg Townsend falls on the ball in the end zone for the touchdown. The L.A. Raiders go to 4-0 on the season, still unbeaten under Art Shell at the L.A. Coliseum. 24-10 is the final. The Kansas City Chiefs, couple of block punts for touchdowns, 34-zip over the Browns, and the Oilers by 10 over the Chargers. Who'd have thunk it? The Colts beat the Eagles on a last play. Jack Trudeau getting up off the deck after last week's shellacking. Fans going to find Bill Brooks for the game winner here as time runs out. And it was Dean Biasucci who broke the 23 all tie with no time on the clock with the PAT 24 23, the Colts over the Eagles. And it was the Cowboys and the Giants. That's again New York 31 17, second time this year they've beaten them. The Green Bay Packers and Detroit Lions, some late game magic for the Pack. More magic uh, dropping back right here. He's going to be looking for Perry Kemp, but watch out of the left side of your screen. There he comes right there. There's Query number 85. <laughs> Makes a catch in the air for the winning score. One of the great plays of the day is the Packers win that one 24-21. And it was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to 3-1 on the season over the Minnesota Vikings in overtime. 23-20 on a Steve Christie kick in overtime. Vinny Testaferti, the number one ranked quarterback in the NFL going into that game. Very strong. He leads them back late. Doesn't throw an interception. Throws a touchdown pass. He's always had the good receivers around him with Bruce Hill and Carrier and, and Rod Hall. They're tied in. But now a complete package with, uh, with Reggie Cobb, uh, Gary Anderson playing very well in the backfield. It's taken a lot of pressure off of it. Well, coming up here on the Nissan Halftime Report, we've got another Ryden original. This time, Paul takes a look at the ins and outs of end zone dancing, one of your specialties. Coming up next. As your business changes, an ordinary computer may not support your demands. 
you need a computer that was designed for change. An IBM PS2 with Microchem. When you shuffle things around, you can easily add advanced cards for complex imaging, networking, multimedia, and more. So instead of an ordinary computer, to play your cards right, how are you going to do it? PS to it. DHL was making express deliveries overseas before Federal Express was even in business. With a head start like that, we can simply do things others can't. DHL, faster to more of the world. The type A personality vacation. The type B personality vacation. The best vacations are this vacation. The Royal Caribbean Vacation. Now the fast track has a pit stop. Royal Caribbean introduces three and four night Bahamas vacations. If you thought disco had died a well-deserved death some years ago, forget it. But at least one organization, the NFL, is seeing to it that its remnant doesn't go unpunished. Perhaps you're familiar with the rule. Rule number 12, Article 14-C, that prohibits prolonged, excessive, or premeditated celebrations. The seeds of all this disruptive behavior were planted in the early 70s by a number one draft pick of the Chiefs, Elmo Wright. But it blossomed with the end zone antics of this man, who elevated end zone dancing to new heights of artistic expression. Others naturally followed suit. We spoke with this man, since retired from the game, about his influence. Due to the sensitive nature of the subject matter, we have withheld his identity. Billy, did you... Uh, excuse me, I mean, uh, sir... Did you ever think that you'd be a role model for fellows who are now flagrantly violating NFL policy? Role model, yes, but as far as breaking the NFL policy, I always thought I was a law-abiding citizen. I always looked by the Who ordered the super? Who ordered the super? Did you order the super? Get the super out. This is live. Get the super out.